Hi. Uh, so in this yoga sequence, um, I will speak about the the psoas, uh, the classes. Uh, Entitled Gear Psoas, so we will focus on this part. So, here, just I want to show you uh, this one. So, you can see the psoas is the only muscle linking the the below the bottom and the top of the body, so a bit uh, important. So Let's stretch it and uh, stretch and stretch st strong, yeah, to get stronger. And I will do my best with my English. I will do slowly, and uh, I think it's okay. It's okay. Yoga is uh, like a uh, universal, so follow my body. <laughs> if you don't understand, let's do it. So we begin. Small warm up, a normal one with the cat couple, so wrists under the shoulder and the, um, knees under the hips. So we begin with cat call, simple movement, start from the sacrum here. So on the inhale, lay it on the stomach and look up and exhale. Just scapulas empty your lungs and then exhale, inhale, exhale. First, uh, like a um, supported plant pose with the knee. So on the same line. The right, the yeah, you, my body is on the same line. Just the the left foot is outside the mat. Wrist under the shoulder, always thumb and index anchored or grounded. And inhale, just stretch a bit the right side. And each inhale, lighten the arms, lighten the body, and five breath. Your body is uh, one line. Last. And exhale, come back down. Other side. So, right foot outside the mat, left foot in the same line, like that. Wrist on the shoulder, and rounded arms, and inhale. Push on your hands. Four. And five. Come back down. Next one. It's a variation of Vyagrasana to stretch a bit. Uh, so as in cruciceps, so to keep your balance, you can look on the ground. It's maybe easier. So you lift the left, the left arms and the right legs. So you here, and then you catch, you grab your your um, left feet, right feet, and. If you do, if you can if you can take a like a scarf or something like that, uh, where is my yeah like a yoga band? But a scarf is enough, so you can do it like that if you can't. If you can't, you can, yeah do it like doing like that. It's a bit complicated for me, but that's it. So, like that. Inhale, on exhale, 
you grab the inner edge of your right foot and then you push the foot on your, in your left hand and you stretch the right psoas here and the, the right quadriceps. Each inhale you push your hands, your foot on your hands and you stretch the stomach and wake up a bit the um, lower back. Last inhale and come back down. Just a cat go. No try. And other side. So left leg, right arms. Look at here for your stability or maybe you have a good one. Inner edge of the foot and you stretch it. Each inhale you push it. Maybe you look up or if it's difficult for your neck you can look down. Last inhale, the most important, and exhale, come back down. You can just do a bit of chai pose of the lower back. And come to a plank pose, then lesson and down facing back. For the first one, you can alternate one. Leg after one. Thumb and index grounding on the floor. Each inhale, push on your hands. Look at your navel and your arm thighs. And then try to stay not moving. Suck the belly in on each inhale and exhale. Exhale, try to touch the heels on the floor, but it's not the most important. If you're not comfortable, you can bend the knees a bit to have a, a straight back. Open the shoulder, not too much. And look between the hands and walk from that mat slowly. You can Grab your elbows or interlace the finger to open the heart and stretch the shoulder. So you can choose your variation. You can bend the knees as needed. Inhale, you stretch the shoulder up to the sky. And exhale for for a bit if you can. And exhale, arms on the floor, and come up slowly. And last, so. For the sense salutation, um, uh, I like uh, a Jiva Mukti one, so you will lean and follow to focus on the hips, yeah, always. So, let's begin in Tadasana, big toes are touching, heels are separate, and you cross the thumbs like that, so bend the knees and inhale, look up and stretch the stomach, exhale, four fold, and to lift the fingers, hands on the floor, right foot back, Anjaneyasana, so place your knees on the floor, go up, so 
um, some variation possible. And release your finger and do like that. In each inhale, open the chest and exhale. Try to go down with your hips. Or this one. Inhale. Open the chest, exhale, go down. So here you can really feel the stretch from here to here. If you don't feel it, I don't understand. So you can message me and I will find a solution. <laughs> Last inhale. And exhale. Arm on the floor and directly in down, facing dog. Next inhale, go to plank pose, knee, chest, chin on the floor, release the pelvis, spread the toes, cobra. Roll on the knees and then Adho Mukha Svanasana, down on facing dog. Five breaths. Arms are like stars on the, on the mat, firm index, grounded, neck, relax, say yes, no. Next, inhale, right foot forward, exhale, left foot forward, forward fold, grab the thumbs, and go up, straight the stomach, and exhale, go down, and the little finger, inhale, left foot back, and the knee, I say, off the side. So it's a low, it's called also low and show. This variation if you like, or this one. But protect your lumbar with the, um, yeah, I don't know, block, to block this part. And five breath. In each inhale, open the chest, look up, and exhale for a bit down with your hips and stretch it. If you have knee pain, you can place a pillow or double your mats to protect it. Last inhale, exhale. Place your hand on the floor. Directly in down, facing down. Several options. So, the first one plank pose, knee, chest to chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down, facing dog. Next one, chaturanga. So, just go. A bit more, five centimeters on the ground. And inhale, look up, down, up, up, facing dog, and down, facing dog. Five breath. At the end on the exhale, foot feet together, you can jump or walk in front of the mat. Inhale, look up, exhale, floor fold. Inhale, cross the thumbs up, go up, exhale, namaskar. Take some breath to calm down. Last sun salutation, but um, vinyasa, number one. Just last stretch. So, 
Tadasana, Samasiti. Inhale, look up at the thumbs, exhale, bend, and just place your hands on the floor. Inhale, look up, place your hands on the floor, jump or walk in Chaturai. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog, exhale, Down Facing Dog. Five breaths. Try not to lose your breathing. Connect with your breathing. A deep one, maybe you jive with. Together, retention of the breathing. Look up and inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look your at your thumb, exhale, push and breathe. So, first. Standing in Asana, uh, Vyanabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. So, uh, Atta Yoga, so left of the mat, you separate your legs, uh, medium distance, it depends on your thighs. Right foot rotates straight, so 90 degrees, and the um, left one 45 degrees, almost parallel to the so, warrior two, arms shoulder level, and on a exhale, you bend the front knee. And you, you gaze at your, um, I don't know the name of the finger, the biggest one. And open the hips, like a hand here, open these hips. And think of your grounding. Relax your shoulder. You're a beautiful Pacific warrior. Last inhale. Exhale. Inhale, go up. And Durgasana. So the feet are like a duck. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, tails are uh, like that. And simply just bend the knees and try to open. So you can do something like that or simply go down and be parallel, opening your hips. Or if it's really uncomfortable, just do like that. So each inhale, open the chest and exhale, go a bit down. Good for the quadriceps. Two more breath. Inhale and exhale. So while you're one, with the right, the left foot, wire one, and to the shoulder level, and go down, bend your left knee. Inhale and exhale, go beat down. Try not to your knee, your knee. Don't, yeah, be careful with your knee. Never before. This, like this. Three. Four. And five. 
and come back in from the nuts. Next one, Uttita Trikonasana. So, separate your legs medium distance, right foot like warrior two, 90 degrees, left foot um, a bit more, yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Try to let a line between your heels to have your good stability. Um, normally the heels should be on the same line, but for beginners it's good to have place for your hips. So imagine a line uh, in the middle of your mat and just try to the heels not on the same line. It's easier when you begin. So triangle, triangle pose. So, inhale and exhale, not to bend forward, imagine your body in two dimensions, so like um, a hands like that, so inhale and exhale, go down and place your hand where you can, inhale, go, gaze at your right hand so don't don't um, relax your shoulder open the hips in each inhale open the hips last inhale Exhale, go down, inhale, look up, and just rotate to go on the other side. So, exhale, go down, and look up. And for the neck, if it's painful, same, you can look down. But just think about opening all this part of the body, especially the hips. And for opening the shoulder, you can place your hands under the, uh, on the back, like that. Like that. In this So you open the shoulder easily and it's a good variation for beginner to understand the triangle pose. Very good. So, next one. Uttita Parshva Konasana. I don't know the name in English anyway. It's not. Uh, okay, so we continue to open the hips. Um, and uh, this asana is the asana where the um, legs are the most separated, the longest distance between the feet. So separate your feet as long as possible. The back, the back feet is almost parallel to to the mat. Inhale like the warrior too, but you will see it's a bit different. So, uh, some variation, I take a block. So, some variations. So. Heels uh, not on the same line. So, inhale, exhale. You can place your elbow on the right thighs like that. You can place your hands on the block in inside the, the foot or outside or without the block. So the best option for beginner is this one or this one. Goal of the posture is stretching all the body from the foot to the 
finger. So to enter the pose, just inhale and get at your right, left, left fingers. And each inhale, try to open the chest. If you are like me, I can push and help you to open. You can push with your elbow, your knee, to open the chest, the, the hips. Next inhale. Exhale. Look down. Inhale, look up. And I show you the other variation on this side. So, inhale, place the, the elbows on the thighs and same. So, try, try to really push, not to be like that. Don't collapse. Be, yeah, so place here. Inhale and look, gaze at your right. Hand. Each inhale, open your right side. And don't forget your right foot, the outer edge of the right foot from the right finger. Two more breaths. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up, look up, go up, and exhale, in front of the mat. Next one, I will explain for you. So, okay, so as triceps and the antagonist muscle is this one. So, we'll stretch it a bit, <laughs> because not to have lumbar diseases, it's good to stretch, straighten the psoas, but also have a good flexibility of all of the muscle of the back of the legs. So the next posture is pretty intense to stretch this part of the foot, but on each exhale try to relax what you can and it's like breathing uh, in your pain. Yeah, <laughs> so next one it's uh, like pyramid pose called Pashvottanasana. So we'll begin with the right foot, right foot uh, forward and the left foot. So the distance is pretty short and uh, in this asana the, the thing is very important to ground the two big toes on the floor. The hips are square, so try to keep the hips square front. So um, there is two variations. I can do the namaste on the in the back, so I grab my elbows like that. Inhale, you open your heart and exhale, you go down on the right legs. Try to keep the um, Spine as long as possible, but the neck relax. Never, 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 never have the neck. Don't relax. <laughs> no relax. On each inhale, try to stretch the spine and exhale. Use your exhalation to go a bit down. And get yet at your thumbs. Your big toe. The right hips try to go forward, take it back. Last inhale, exhale, inhale, go up, and exhale. Other side, inhale, open the chest, open the heart, and exhale, forward. The two big toes are grounded on the floor. Legs are active and strong. Mm. 
Use your breathing. And inhale, go up. And come back on from on the mat. Fall the last standing. Asana posture, we'll do a, a, a little vinyasa for a lizard pose, so maybe we'll need blocks, maybe not. Uh, I begin this side, uh, it's better for you, so we do a, a vinyasa, it's like the sensation. So inhale and exhale, bend the knees, inhale, look up. Exhale, plank chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. So next asana is lizard pose. On a inhale, lift your right leg, exhale, place your right foot between the hands. Lizard pose. So, um, some variation. First one, if it's it's enough, if it's enough for you, you can just stay like that and feel the stretch in here. Or you can place the forearms on the floor, or you can use one or two block. And try to keep your, um, your knee close to you. Don't open the knee. It's not the, the goal of the pose. So it is the morning, so I use a block. And each exhale, try to go a bit down and stretch more and more. Down. And we do an asana, so don't force. If it's not for you, don't do that. It's kandasana, so right foot is flex. It means the, the toes like that. You can keep your hands on the floor or hands in namaste with straight spine. It open, it's open the hips and the adductor. And to come in front of the mat, same with the left knee bended. So if but you can you can skip you can skip it if it's too much for you. So here same. So I forgot you can also place like Anjana Yesana, the, the, the knee on the floor, there's no problem. You can also do that, it, it works. But it's pretty more intense like that. Maybe I can this side. To breathing always. It's your best best friend in yoga. <laughs> in the life. Inhale, you come up. Going down, facing dog. And we go. Sitting seconds and to begin just chai pose. Relax the shoulder, no more efforts, natural breathing. And come up, 
coming out of Mukha. And we go to, we go for Pajan pose. So we begin with the right foot. So Pajan pose. Place your left knee behind the left wrist. Flex your left toe and straighten the right legs as much as possible. The more the feet is like that, the more it's easy. The more it's like that, the more it's harder. You can place, I come here. So, Biden pose. So, if it's too much for you, you can use the block and place it under your left butt, buttock. So, you can stay here if it's enough. You can stretch the spine, ego, and go a bit down, maybe on the forearms. Maybe you can do a small pillow with your hands or play the head on the floor. So you choose your variation and we stay in this asana maybe 8 to 10 breathing to suit the, the hip. And the, this type of asana is uh, like uh, no struggle, so the more you struggle against the pain, the more the pain will be stronger and stronger. So once again, use your breathing to soothe this left hip, if it's painful, of course. After head breath, place your right, your left hands on the floor, bend your right knee and try to grab the inner edge of your foot and simply just stretch it. It's pretty intense, so once again, use the bound or a scarf anyway I mean even if you're here it's okay if you feel the stretch it's okay never never hesitate to use accessories props And you try to go a bit further with each exhalation and inhalation. It's like a pump. And go down. Next asana, just place your right foot. Ardhanatyandrasana, it's a twist. So place your right foot here. And the left one just close to the buttex. But the two ischio, the buttex is on the floor. The right foot just... So, um, some variation you can just Grab your knees like that, your left arms under the back, inhale, straight the spine and exhale, loop behind you. Over variation, big inhale and exhale, place your elbows against the knee and it helps to twist a bit more. 
So on each exhale, you try to twist a bit more, looking over your right shoulder. So inhale, straight the spine, and exhale, twist. And you can feel it here. a bit the psoas you will you will understand and simply come back to downward facing dog so pigeon with uh, right so right knee behind right wrist it's simple Straighten the left leg, inhale, straighten the spine, block or neck block. You can stay here, 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 or here. Uh, always the right uh, foot flex. And use your breathing. To relax the hips. Breathe in these hips. No struggle. And you can so hold you can also feel the left psoas because the the leg is extended. So next inhale, play the this time right hand on the floor, bend the left knee, grab with or without a bound the inner edge of your foot, maybe on the fingertips like that, and just stretch the quadriceps and the left psoas. You can close your eyes to feel the stretch. You can close your eyes when you want. And always squat a posture very slowly. On exhale, just slowly, slowly, slowly. And left leg come here. Right heel just close to the left buttocks. And inhale, raise your left, your right arms, place your arms like that, or simply like that. Inhale, straighten the spine, and exhale, twist on the left. Each inhale, straighten, exhale. Last inhale and exhale. Come back in the center. So for um, counter pose, uh, I use uh, I like to use this one. It's called Tarasana. So 
uh, you can um, place your feet together like that and um, see like a um, losange. <laughs> Some, yeah, no, you, you, you don't have to feel any pain. It's like a, a relaxed uh, asana. So you grab your feet, inhale, stretch the spine, and exhale, just go down. And just think uh, this part of the, pre of the head, foot, feet. Even if you don't touch, it's not the, the purpose, but yeah. And focus on the scapulas which are separated and you can a bit grab your foot and go a bit forward to stretch and separate the scapulas. This mm, area very knotted sometimes. And breathe. And enjoy this time of relaxation. Here you can collapse round back anyway. Do what is good for your body. It's for me after a twist, but maybe it's good also for you. And you can stay here as long as you want. That's no problem. Next one is like um, preparation for half lotus, but it's also good for um, stretch the sciatica nerve and uh, to prepare some other uh, split and etc. It's like a baby. Uh, yeah. So two possibilities. You can grab left elbow, right knee, right, 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 left, left, like that, and just like a baby. And try to close to, to be closer and closer with you to stretch here as more as possible, as much as possible. And just over variation if you if you don't manage to you can simply do that and feel the hips both variation are definitely okay just try to keep this one is better to keep a back a bit more straight. But it's okay. If you are like that, it's okay. Just try to yeah, push a bit to get your leg closer. And then grab your feet like that and just like if you want to call, but not with your hands, <laughs> not with your hands, just if you want to call with your foot, not with the, with the head, it's too easy, just like that. And push back a bit. And that's it. So, same the other side. I won't stay so long, so two variation, this one, this one. When you feel it's okay, grab your feet like that and go back with it. Okay, so next one, Malasana. Malasana, it's like uh, the squats. So, for occidental, we are not used to, to be like that, so like that, yes, not like that. Malasana is this asana. 
the elbows push the knees to separate and open the hips and stretch the head toes, etc. The heels are on the floor. If you have big difficulties to stay like that, you can simply, okay, I take what I have. For example, place like a pillow. So feet are mat uh, width apart and like that it's also it's already easier and the more it will be high the more it will be easier so you can do like that no problem and and breathe Straight spine, non collapse. Next inhale and exhale. Simply go down. Come to pose, table top. So, simply place your hand like that. Inhale, raise your hips as high as possible. And if you can, you can drop the head. Inhale, raise the hips and exhale. Maybe by the mouth you can. Inhale. And exhale, and come down. Next one is Navasana, so the boat pose. It's good simply to straighten the psoas and to muscle this one. So if you can't stay like that one minute without difficulties, it means your um, lower belly and psoas are maybe a bit too weak. So it's very good to work on it simply. So in yoga, the king of asanas to, <coughs> to, to straighten the core, especially uh, the, the, this part and this part, is the, the complete one, even if mine is not perfect, but the complete, complete one is like that. Feet are together, I guess at my big toes, knees are together, and the chest, open the chest on each inhale. So for beginner, place your hands here and try to find your balance. Once you think you have your balance, just straight the hands. Arms are active, it will help you. If it's okay, you can maybe try to straighten a bit the legs. And this is an I can be also do in movements, not like crunches, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, Arda Navasana. Navasana. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And uh, you can continue as long as you want. <laughs> uh, next one, Sutta Parangustasana. Our counterpost for Navasana is the, the same one, tabletop, so hips as high as possible, or this one, it's another one. And go down, but for beginner anyway, it's better like that. Try to have the wrist under the shoulder and the 
foot ankle, no, ankles, yeah, ankle under the, the knees and go down. So, Supta Parangustasana is very good for the mobility of the sacroiliac region. So, you can here use the belt like that. And your role in this asana is to keep the buttocks on the floor and just feel the good stretch for you. So you can go a bit further, try to keep the shoulder on the floor or as close as possible. And here you stretch this joint, the big joint, the fascia lata here. If you are in a flexible, you can grab with the peace finger your big toes. And then placing the, the right hand on the, uh, the left hand on the left hips, you can open the leg and as your left shoulder is no longer on the floor, stop it and you can feel the stretch and you can play if you want with your belt, you can play a bit maybe, yeah if you are like that, you can play. It's always good anyway. Same left side. So I don't know, I show you because it's good to do the both part, but I do without the belt, but use a belt or a scarf anyway. So this leg is up good on the floor and place your hand like that. Like that is not very necessary the hands, but it's better. But on the side it's very good. Like pushing to keep the buttock on the floor. No teacher, no problem. Yes, a big problem. It's pretty hard. And you come up. And to finish, you can place your <coughs> right ankle on the left knee, you can grab here behind the thighs or the shin. I don't know if it's the shin. Anyway, here. And the left, uh, right foot is flexed and try to push a bit your knee like that. And grab your bend it. The, um, the arms is in between the legs. And prepare your mind, your mind for the relaxation already. Other side, so flex, flex foot. You can grab here or here. Maybe better this side. You can gently, gently push a bit on your knee and stretch it. If you are flexible, maybe you can do like that. But it's not compulsory at all. So, and <coughs> to finish the sequence, I can propose you a different option. So, there's Supta Balakonasana. 
So you can begin your relaxation like that. And relax totally the body on the floor. Or before your Shavasana, you can do the Viparita Karan, legs up the world. Begin like that and finish like that. And then you will feel it will get lower and lower. Maybe you can play a bit. Too hot on your hips. Close your eyes. You can finish your sequence like that, but I advise you a Shavasana to relax totally your body melting on the floor. As graceful as possible between the wall and the mat and simply simply just Relax all the part of your body from the heels to the head and you can stay here as long as you want and if you feel any tension just focus on this tension and relax it with your breathing each exhale help you to relax more and more. Your face is relaxed and you can stay here. So for me it's okay and I hope you so please, my English isn't really perfect, so I try, I try my best. Uh, if you have any feedback, uh, I would be uh, very happy. Uh, and I uh, hope you enjoy to stretch your psoas and your hips. And uh, have a great day. Namaste. Namaste for your practice and to watch me, simply. See you next time. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.